question is for Tim Jones. Uh, some residents are concerned taxes have increased significantly since 2014. Have those increases been justified? And do you believe the town should reduce spending or make an effort to reduce spending in the near future? Max, I'm so glad you're giving me the easy questions. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yes, I feel it personally. The taxes have been uh, going uh, too high, too fast. And unfortunately, I have to tell you that regardless of how we vote uh, next week, if we voted everything down, tax increases are already in the pipeline and coming to a bill near you. <laughs> yeah, I think that you'll notice that when, when we have Warren articles with, with you know, large amounts of money in them, that it's then reported when the project ever gets done that it was done under the budget. And then, of course, selectmen pat themselves on the back, take the balance of that money, and put it into the undesignated fund balance where it legally belongs when you have these balances, and then subsequently use the undesignated fund balances for whatever um, pet project they may think is, is uh, good to do, which, of course, is always unrelated to the original Warren article under which that money was raised. I think we can do a far better job in estimating these Warren article projects, as well as doing a far better job in estimating certain costs in the budget. I think more uh, transparency in terms of the operation of how the money flows, and I follow this money. You know, it's one of the reasons I got involved in the Budget Committee six years ago when the <coughs> silliness of this state insisting us in maintaining these sidewalks was brought up. That's what got me the first time in my life to speak in public. wasn't very good at it. I've been working on it. But I decided then to follow the old adage, which was, follow the money. So I got on the Budget Committee, I've been following that money, and I can assure you, if the public saw what I have seen in my analysis, and I spent a considerable time analyzing this stuff, they would be uh, kind of shocked at the casual, the, the casual nature in which these numbers are thrown about without any real uh, reflection on how we can be more efficient with the spending of that money. So yeah, there's things that could be done if there were leadership to see to it that it got done. Uh, Mary Louise, do you want the question repeated or are you, you on this question? No, I, I, I think the public has a right to expect that individuals who are elected are prepared to work. Last year, the chairman announced that the summer schedule would start the next Monday night, and the next Monday night was the first Monday in May. When I worked on the boards of selectmen in my first th three or so terms, we worked every Monday, unless it was New Year's or Christmas. We need boards that are willing to do the work and sit down and go into the details Public Works is a critical department in Hampton. We can't function for a week without the Public Works Department. And that department is being crippled by a number of situations now. I want to see boards sitting down, working through the year, and s throwing out in the public by means of Channel 22 in-depth meetings for the serious problems that are facing us in all the departments, but particularly public works. All right, Max, I'm going to get you over on this side of the table, and if you could repeat that question for these fellows over here. Sure. Some residents have said that taxes have increased significantly in the last three years, and do you believe those increases have been justified, and should future boards watch their spending with those in mind? Uh, Brian? Um, <laughs> you can use that if you want. <laughs> it seems uh, about the same, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think anybody likes taxes, so I'm not going to say we should have more taxes, but every year we have votes and we have private petitions and we have the budget and things pass, and if the people are voting in these things, then your taxes are going to go up. If things are voted down, then they're going to go down. Or stay the same. I don't think they're actually ever going to go down. I don't think so. Don't quote me on that. But Jim, 
Municipal tax rate, 2010, 641, 2011, 713, 2012, 714, 2013, 705, 2014, 725, 2015, 791, 2016, 641, and 2017, 632. The municipal tax rate has stayed basically about the same. It's gone down a little bit. Valuations have gone up. That's good for you in one aspect, and it's bad for you in another aspect. You pay more in your taxes. If you want to sell your house, you get more for your house when you sell it. So it's hard. Transparency, that the finance director comes in here every month, sits down, and gives us a report on exactly where the money has been spent. Uh, department heads, I trust our department heads. I'm not going to micromanage our department heads. We have a, a phenomenal police chief, fire chief, DPW director, and assistant director. I'm not a junior engineer, I'm not an amateur engineer, I'm not going to go down to the DPW and tell them how to do their work. I'm going to have them come in and discuss it with us, and I do believe that the selectmen have paid attention to their budgets, paid attention to how the money's spent, and I trust those people. I will not micromanage them.